Hi, I'm Jilly G. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I make my chicken salad. First up, I have a whole chicken here that I, I cooked it in my instant pot, but you could roast it in the oven if you wanted to. And it was about an eight pound or so. And I've taken all the meat off and it's still in biggest chunks. So we'll cut that up too. But first up, I've got about four, four stalks of celery here. I'm going to cut up into five ish sized pieces. So all of our celery in this bowl. And I cooked the chicken with a spice seasoning. I'll, I'll give you a, a link to that in the, in the description, but it's a really good spice flavoring that I use for my roast chicken and for this chicken salad. So whatever flavors you roast your chicken with or cook your chicken with, make sure it's compatible with what flavorings you're using in the chicken salad. But I just use the same one for both. So now that our celery's all done, I've got probably a cup or so of grapes. I'm just gonna cut them in half. And if they're really small, you could just throw them in whole. And just cut all these up. And once your grapes are all cut up, just throw these in with the celery. And I have about, oh, about a, oh, almost a cup of almonds here that I've just toasted. They're cooled off. I'm going to cut these up and put them in with our celery and our grapes. And once your nuts are all cut up, just put them in this bowl with your other vegetables and fruit. And now for the chicken. I'm using all of it, the white meat, the dark meat, whatever. But you could use whatever you want, even pre-cooked roasted chicken, whatever is easier for you. And I'm just cutting this up into bite-sized pieces as well. And just keep going until all of your chicken is cut up. The last of our chicken, we clean up a little bit and then I'll show you how we mix it all together. So in our bowl with our chicken, our almonds, grapes, and celery, I have some salt and pepper and the spice seasoning I was telling you about earlier. I'll give you the name of it below, but it's just a combination of different spices that are really good with chicken. And I have some mustard, probably about a half cup and about a cup of mayonnaise. This is horseradish mustard. I'll give you the link for that. You could also use a Dijon mustard or just regular, whatever you like. So just start stirring this up, give it a head start. Our one cup of mayonnaise. And I'll say this is to start. You never know how much you'll need till you get going, but one cup to start. And a half a cup of mustard. One tablespoon of our spice mix and a little bit of salt and pepper. It was probably a half teaspoon of salt and pepper. And again, it's the same with salt and pepper. It's to taste. And just start mixing all of this together. And I think I am going to go just a little bit more mayonnaise and mustard. And just keep mixing. Scraping the bowl. Making sure it's all mixed in. And that looks really good. So once your chicken salad is all mixed together, you can wrap it up and put it in the fridge. Sometimes things like this are always better the next day, but let's give it a try right now. I actually have some of my Irish soda bread. I just toasted it in the oven for a few minutes just to make it crispy and it's cooled off. And even though they're little, you could have a fancy tea party sandwich and you wouldn't even have to cut them to make them smaller with this bread. So let's just put a little bit on each piece.
looks pretty good. Okay, let's give this a try. It's really good. And this bread toasts up really nice too. I'll put a link to that video somewhere below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.